perfecto. Uh, hey, this is Dad Random. Uh, yes, you can see uh, I've uh, pulled my refrigerator out. Um, this is actually a problem that most of us uh, uh, will run into from time to time. And um, especially with an older refrigerator. And you can see this is a, this is a, a KitchenAid and a Superba. And it's very common uh, with the stainless steel. Sometimes it's a black front or a white front. But the inside of these refrigerators is all the, are all the same. Um, so what happens is, is you get a drip um, down here in the water, um, the water dispenser. And that drip is usually not a sign of anything going on inside the front here. It's a valve issue in the back. And um, you can find other videos of this repair. Um, I'm just going to give you the story of mine. But it's pretty simple. Uh, so let me go ahead and show you the back of the refrigerator and what I did uh, to, to open it up. So pull the refrigerator out, unplug it. Um, you may want to disconnect the water, <laughs> so it's not the, uh, or just turn it off, and I'll show you that right now. Here. All right, so I am uh, looking at the bottom of the refrigerator right here. Um, these are the screws that I took out, and this is the backing. It's a very cheap, flimsy backing. It's paper. You do want to save it because it does um, keep dust from filling this area in. Um, this is a 17-year-old refrigerator, so I, I suggest that when you basically open it up, you get a vacuum, definitely unplug it, um, and vacuum out the dust wherever you can see it. Try not to run into anything, of course. Try not to mess up any of these uh, copper lines. Don't bend those. Um, but this is the area that we're focused on right here. So let me go ahead and give you a close-up of this area right here this valve right here is what we need to replace so what you want to do is you want to take out these screws here and I'll do that really quick and this is let's see I don't even know it's uh, it is a quarter inch this is a quarter inch drive okay standard quarter inch screws um, but this is the part here that we are looking to this is the part that that pumps water to your ice maker and to your water dispenser this is the inlet and these are the two outlets and this is basically um, the it's not a pump it's a flow valve and it's run by these two electric circuits right here there's two solenoids and you just disconnect these And disconnect the purple and the color coded so you don't screw them up and then there's two water valves and to disconnect these you press the back in and you pull out the tube now as you can see there's water getting all over the place and so let me grab a bowl have a bowl handy so you can that water can drain into something there we go and a couple of towels so I'm just see I'm just pressing these in it's just a pressure a pressure fitting press it in and then pull out the back there it is and here's the water coming out now I'm gonna grab some paper towels as well <clears throat> And we'll just put that down there. So this is the valve here. Let me go ahead and get the last. Um, now, you, there, there are different sizes. This is a smaller one. Uh, you can see that this one is going up to the back. This one here is coming from the filter. Right here. This is coming from the filter. So this is the one that's going to go into the long piece. Now, I've actually ordered the part. This part came from this distributor. And I got the part number uh, a couple of different ways. One is the parts labeled right here. You can see the label of the model number. I just and It's good to have a, a cell phone. Um, before you order your part, before you mess around with the back of the fridge, um, 
pre-order your part and then leave everything together. You're going to have to go without water and ice for a little bit. But take a picture of this uh, number. Um, it gives you the pressure. It gives you the, uh, uh, the power requirements to run the, the part. These are very easy to find. They're not very expensive. Um, you're going to probably pay about twenty dollars for this part. Uh, if you go get, if you have a, an, uh, an installer do this, it's going to be a lot more money. They'll probably charge you fifty dollars for the part, uh, and then of course maybe two hundred dollars for the service. So, uh, so that's kind of something you have to take into consideration. But this is just plug and play stuff. Um, push this down. There we go. Disconnected the water feed. Okay. So we only have uh, a couple of connections. So there it is. Um, this is our old part. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and, and get rid of that and we'll be right back. All right, this is Dad Random and I'm back. Go ahead and... And here's my, here's my old part right here and here's the new one. And you can see that there's, a, there's some slight differences but they do pretty much the same thing. Um, there is gonna be a difference. Now you can see that the the whole difference, this is a larger, and this is a smaller, and these are the same here. They work the exact same way. Um, it's going to be a pressure fit. I'm going to basically push that tube back in there, and I'm going to push it in tight. Um, so this should be a kind of a plug and play, and you can see that instead of blue and brown, I have green and red. Just keep them oriented correctly, okay? So the blue will be the green, the red will be the brown. And just keep that orientation. It runs the same valve, so you just have to put the color, match the color up with the part. But about $18 for this part. Oh man, it should do the trick. So let's go ahead and install the part and uh, we'll be right back, okay? All right, Dad Random back. Hey, how you doing? Um, so I'm just going to go and press these into into place. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm not going to mess with anything. I'm just going to push this into into place. There we go. Snaps in there. Pull back a little bit, and we'll go ahead and find the larger of the two tubes. That will go into this hole. Okay, and then pull it back a little bit. And then here's the smaller of the two tubes. I believe this one goes to the ice maker. Usually the smaller one's the ice maker tube and the larger one is the water dispenser. Go there. And then we will do a pressure check in just a second. We'll go ahead and turn the water on. Um, let's do that before we uh, turn anything on. So I'm going to put this underneath just in case we have a leak. Um, we can go into the... Into the uh, into the bucket there. So here we go, we'll check that out. Um, you're gonna have a supply line just like this and you can see all the monkey business I got back here. I got multiple filters. I'm actually gonna remove these and put a single filter on. Um, there's also a filter inside your refrigerator. Let's go ahead and turn the water on, see what happens. Then see if we got a leak. So we're gonna go in here and we're gonna look at the, look at our there's handiwork here. See if we've got a leak there. I'm going to check that once again once we get it screwed in. But you can see I haven't gotten any electrical connected yet. Now remember, this one here will be the blue side. It's now green. And the brown side will be will be this, this white one right here. So we'll go ahead and plug that one in. Just like that. And then we'll plug this one in here, just like that. One more check. Now we're going to do a uh, electrical check and see if the pump is work. Or the, excuse me, the pump, the solenoid is turning off and on, and we're getting leaks. So let's go ahead and put some put some power to it. <clears throat> go ahead and plug the refrigerator back in. Get it moved a little bit here. Check here. All right, let's go ahead and no, nothing yet. So let's let's put some power to it. 
All right, we're gonna go and uh, go to the water dispenser here. So we're gonna get a get something big because we're gonna have air coming out of it. So what you wanna do is get something that can capture a whole bunch of water. And let me go get the biggest bucket I got. Right here, biggest one I got. And let's see what we, see what we got going on here. There's the water. So it, since it's dispensing, it's working. Ooh, we've got a mess going on there. And so water's coming out. That's a good sign. You can hear the air escaping right there. We'll just let it keep coming so the air stops coming out. See that? Let it run for a while. Remember, have some towels, have uh, plenty of buckets around. There we go. So it's holding. That's what we want. We want to see. We want to see any drips coming out of there. All right, so we'll go dump this out here. And let's go check our bucket over here and make sure we don't have any leaks. Um, looking at our part, uh, I don't see any leaks. I don't see any leaks on the inlet. Um, be careful guys when you plug your uh, fridge back in the fan is running you can see that and you can get your hands in there so um, you see that fan right there before I put it button everything back up um, I'm gonna turn this refrigerator off uh, finish my job while the because like I said you can get your hand in the fan there but uh, this should be able to uh, go ahead we should be able to uh, get her button back up here so that's what I'm gonna do right now all right later bye all right, so we got the power off and I'm basically matching up the bracket. This bracket is the big, the big, um, the most important part when you're replacing it is making sure you got this bracket. Um, you could put a different pump on there. They're pretty much, uh, they're pretty much all the same, but this bracket um, is what holds it away from all the other things in the back. So um, use the, you try to find one with the same bracket. Now, this bracket is a little shorter than the other one, but it will fit the same way. Go ahead and do that. And for speed, um, I use a, a electric driver. You guys, you don't have to, you don't have to crank it down. Okay, it's, it's ready to go. And it looks like all the wires are set good. Um, we've, you know, it's pretty much the exact same way. I look to make sure there's no kinks. Um, this was inside of there, so I want to make that so the backing can go on. This actually comes out, so you'll see as I replace the backing that that comes out the back, so just like that. And you'll just have to you just have to move things around a little bit. This will go up in there. You know they save a little bit of cash when they put these things on. But I'll go ahead and finish this, putting back the old backing, and we'll be right back. All right, here we go. Dad random success, we hope. Okay, we'll get this thing pushed in, and we should be uh, should be ready uh, to uh, be in right, full operation, right? in place um, you know since you're down there and you pretty much pulled your fridge out clean the back of it <laughs> there's a little bit of a handyman's tip because you never know when you're gonna be back here again and you know how dirty it gets behind the fridge so for dad random all right here we go moment of truth here we go we know it works but we've got to put together make sure there's no puddles underneath your fridge before you push it back in there because that would really suck to have water you know running over your nice floor if it's if it's tile or if it's uh, if it's wood uh, you know and you're gonna have a big mess Perfecto. Uh, in conclusion, uh, pay close attention to part numbers. Um, most of these parts 
can be found uh, quickly uh, through an Amazon search. Um, there's the old one. Guys, there's no reason to keep this, but you might wanna keep a picture of that part number. More than likely, you're never gonna have to repair it ever again because most refrigerators, one cycle, uh, one pump, um, you know, there'll probably be a refrigeration issue possibly in the future, but um, they make really good products now. And, uh, but these are just a little plastic thing, you know, and um, as much as this was, uh, you know, pretty good, I mean, 17 years, this thing's been turning, you know, water and ice uh, off and on. Um, but uh, very simple fix, Any, anybody can do it, and, and so can you. So, all right, for Dad and Random, and we got the Robertson, was it Roberts, Robert Shaw, Robert Shaw, that's the part um, that I replaced it with. But uh, look, check that part number out, um, type in in the search field, you know, Kenmore, Whirlpool, almost all of these use the same internal parts. All right, Peter, dead random, you can do it, okay? Bye.